Hello? God. <laughs> as soon as I sent that announcement of like, I'm feeling under the weather and the internet, like the, the weather's bad. The, the stream just stopped. That was... Ah, frustrating. Anyway, <laughs> let's try to play this game. I'm going to wait a little bit in case people need to re... You know, reload. Uh, internet troubles. That's all I'm gonna say. We, I, to be fair, our internet. Yeah, we're good for now. <laughs> we shall see. Like I said, there's a storm rolling in, and it's gonna be pretty bad. So, internet's probably gonna be pretty bad. We shall see. Hopefully, it won't give us too much, too many issues. <laughs> I'm watching my frame rate like a hawk. Mm. I'm going bananas on the ship. You think it was switched because M's chat's also hyper lagged? I don't know. I. Like, it looked like it was on my end, though, from from what I could see. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it's just which I don't have anything to do. I'm go oh, no, forgot how to talk. I don't have anything to do. I've got the surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece. You know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy in a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some of the key components, Ooh. materials, which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Stream Elements. <laughs> uh, I kind of want you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? I, that's the whole, th I've been looking for stuff to build a sawmill. Oh, maybe not a sawmill. Yes, a sawmill. I've been looking for stuff to build things with forever, it feels like. So. No, no, hi! How's it going? Popcorn! Welcome in. Sorry, my brain is frazzled today. <laughs> Everything's been working against me for stream, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Going somewhere, I assume. But I hope your Tuesday's going well. Well, maybe it is. Oh, we were gonna make a loom, that's what we we're doing. Foundry, sawmill. That's right, because we need linen thread. Okay, we need linen thread to build the sawmill. And we need quartz to build the loom. So we're looking for quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. I love that they show you, like, what... This dragon has quartz. I guess we're going to the dragon. Feels dangerous. That is what we're doing. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left Doug, I didn't feel any... No sorrow, no hate. No relief. Nothing. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. 
I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mm -hmm. Mom was appalled, but you felt it. I've long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead, mm -hmm. feeling things that I couldn't feel myself. Get that bitch a sawmill. Bitches love sawmills. <laughs> You're not hungry. Oh, but I can hug. <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you. Alright. Ah. Are we here? Wait. Oh, now we're going through the... Why can't I see all this? Oh, wait. Are we stopped? Quick! Oh, for the thunderstorm. Okay. A lightning storm! Don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? That's the spirit. Stand below each hit. Alright. Here we go. Get that lightning in a bottle, baby. Oh, look at our uncle! Oh, it's down here. <laughs> oh, missed it. Oh, no, it's down here. Man, last time was a lot easier. like lightning in a bottle. <laughs> I know I sang that last time, but it's the only, like, lightning song that I know. That was a pretty big shrimp. Or very strong shrimp. Oh, I haven't looked at these messages in a bottle. get some uh, ingots. No. <laughs> yeah, everyone's asleep, I guess. Um... There it is. It's gotta press buttons, you know. Ooh, greetings from Furogawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice field. Available now in Kreenu Field. 
Ode to an axe. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. Oh. Oh, we can sell some stuff. Oh, I do. Oh, oh. Coffee, linen, or corn. Let's do some corn. It's corn. to hold oh I care it very deeply for my plant I'm gonna do this this friendo I don't have any water. What? I just like reach for my cup and it's not there. Ooh. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. Could be anything in there. A tiny ship. Old wine. A baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Oh, I, I already did. <laughs> the sommelier. Uh oh. Trim cocktail? And I got two of them? That's awesome. Something's happening. Oh. Oh, this. I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it's inevitable that it would be here. Following me, always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're not, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, isn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it? Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best.
This is fun. This is, it's a very low stakes like boss battle, if you could call it that, but it's just very fun. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Give you a hug. Aw. Aw, you're... Alright. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? I think I might have enough quartz now. Because, you know, that dragon gave us a lot of quartz. Yeah. All right, where should the loom go? I think it should go right above. Um, yeah, her house. Is that her thing? All right, mm -hmm. this loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working mm -hmm. order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside, and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the target. Mm -hmm. And then you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Bundle of ropes. Okay. Add. I'm gonna add a all of it. There we go. Oh, this is fun! I really like this game. It's so different from Elden Ring. It's not that hard. The machine does all the work, you just have to flow with it. And that's what makes this so soothing. Mm. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give a go at it myself when you don't need it. Mm. But don't worry about the materials, I'll manage. Yay! And now do we have enough to build a sawmill? Yes. Do we have room to build a sawmill? Yeah, right here, I guess. Awesome. This looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Yay. How do I use it? Maple log. That's how I use it. Ooh, cool. <laughs> oh. You're doing it all wrong. I, okay. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurement, measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm, or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rat. I like how they just let you fail at it first. <laughs> oh, I, okay. Ah!
Ooh, that's fun! I love all these little mini games. <gasps> Perfect! Would you look at that? Would you look at that? You did great! You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. The wood cutting is still challenging for you. It's, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. Like, out of all of those, I got like one good one. <laughs> ZZ, welcome in, by the way. I hope you're doing well. I want to do more of this. I've, this is like, it's challenging. <laughs> ah! It's so hard. <gasps> Almost. Yeah, the loom is easier. <laughs> you just started playing this game and you got hooked on it. It's so good. This is my second time. It's my first playthrough and it's only my second time streaming it. And I love it so far. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hi, Kanga. Welcome in. I know, I love this game too. Like I said, I, I've, I've only just kind of started it, but I'm having a blast. You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's not that fancy. It's pretty basic with just a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. <laughs> Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just back to life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser focused tummy. <laughs> I get laser focused, tummy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love the characters. I love. I love everything about this game. To be honest. Uh, where are we going next? Oh, oh no. That's just oh, what did I need? They have great personalities. They absolutely do. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have to remember what buttons to press. Okay. Oh, we have everything for the mailbox. That's where we're going. <laughs> Stream elements. I have been live for like 30 minutes. <laughs> You're a little late. You're a little late on that one, my friend. Wait, where did you go? Ella, I've got to tell you, there's something I've stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. <sighs> Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. Mm. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Mm -hmm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Ooh. Dream Elements is wacky sometimes. It's wacky a lot of the time, but you know, we, we appreciate it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let's get some of this stuff. Like, as much as wa as wacky as it gets, you know, it's still helpful. 
Like last time it was literally like every time Stream Elements was posting in chat, it was um it was doing it double <laughs> like every time and I'm like, why are you doing this? Ooh, I think that's a scallop fun. Alright. What is Stream Elements for? It's basically like a a bot that you can set up to do like automatic um, chat stuff. Um, yeah, like I use it to do like some announcements or like um, certain commands. Like uh, if I do this, like it'll say join the Discord or whatever. It's very helpful, but sometimes it gets messed up. <laughs> and it's, it like posts things at the wrong time or something like that. Or like I said, it was like doing every like everything doubled. <laughs> it was it was very funny. Ooh. One time you had stream elements and uh, Wizbot running at the same time on accident, and you managed another stream, and then your chat blew up and kept saying stream start LMAO. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's it's very helpful, but sometimes you just have to get it to work properly. <laughs> Is amazing to use, but also, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's, well, it's mostly great. <laughs> and then, and then when it does something wrong, we get to laugh at it. So actually it's like double, double helpful. Oh yeah. Let's go cook this scallop. Can we cook sawdust? What does that do? <laughs> You spend hours setting it up because you like listen all that, but then never use it. Yeah, that's true. It can be you can get like kind of lost in like all the setup of it because like if you get deep into it, like there's a lot you can do with it. Oh, oh, let's just go sleep. Cause I, I also have like a stream manager that's like, it's like, um, like an Elgato stream deck, but it's like a DIY version of it sort of. Um, and I can get like really caught up in like trying to make things work on that as well. It's really fun, but it, it can get, um, complicated. Like Discord, you set up two servers for fun, both don't get used. Yeah. I <laughs> I poured a lot of effort into Discord, or I started to, and then like I was like, until I get to be big enough that a ton of people are using Discord actively, like it's it's not even worth it because there's you can there's so much you can get into on that kind of stuff. I'm playing this on PC, yes. That's a nice garden. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in and you'll find out. <laughs> Your main uh, server's a buddy helps you set up with all the fancy bells and whistles. Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff that I was like, I've never, like I should set up, but I've never gotten around to because it was like, it was so much. Um, oh, I, we actually have to talk. Oh, I forgot, like, okay, welcome to my young shipyard and traveler. Prices are our customer's best friends. So what do you need? Mailbox. Yay! 
Oh, I need a lot more for the next thing. Oh, and we need oak planks. I don't have yet for this, but... That's okay, we did that. Do you want to talk to me? No. Only thing you really need is a stream announcement stuff, which and basic rules for main chat section. Yeah, yeah. I have like like the rules I've gotten down. I do. <laughs> I do still manually put in stream announcements. <laughs> like every every time I I stream, I just manually put it in because I haven't figured out how to set up like an automatic stream. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanga, go ahead. If you need it again, it's just exclamation point discord. If you have, ever have any clutter, I'm always interested. Maybe we could even trade. If you give me your useless objects, I'll give you mine. Just the thought of new curios makes my head spin. I've nearly organized my stock in errands. Take a look for yourself. Oh! Grilled fish. Interesting. You gotta get a stream cord on your server and then click the link and all that is pretty simple. Ooh, I don't even know what stream cord is. You have it set up for you and your mods and it announces them. That's awesome. I will do that. Cause like, it's been on my list forever, but like, I'm just, like it's like, oh, I'll get to it later. But that's good. Cause like, I didn't even know like how to do it exactly. Uh, sell. Goody sold, goody sold. I think that's all I want to sell. Uh, what do you got? Odd seed, empty bottle. Eh, I don't think I need any of that. Who wants to talk to me? Ooh. <laughs> You know me. I could always go for a little snack, something salty, oh. something buttery, something with flavor. Oh, geez. Oh. You know what would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and heat up some corn. I already have. Wait, come back. <laughs> come back. I already have popcorn. <laughs> oh, you're really hungry, too. Oh. Hmm. That really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. <laughs> I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. <laughs> Watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. To see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen in my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing instead of there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyway, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Ooh, yes! Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. You're in the server? Awesome! Uh, wait. We don't have a, a ton of, like, setup stuff, but there is a rolled, um, channel if you want to look at that. And that, you can, like, set your pronouns and stuff. I need to get different seeds for the garden. Oh.
Yeah, go ahead, water that twice, why don't you? Oh, we get to see what it does when you cook sawdust. Coal? You can make coal? Oh, that's so cool. Interesting. A word, please, Stella. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a very- I've been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to say that I'm starting to- it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house is lovely as it is. It might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me out tre tremendously. And then we could continue our lesson. But nothing too fancy, just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. <laughs> yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Deeply. The simpler server, those are the best. You don't like the ones with thousands of chat categories and bots. Yeah, me neither. It's like overwhelming for me, <laughs> stuff like that. And like, yeah, it's a chill. It's a chill server. It's not super used. I think the most we do is like share a lot of cat pictures, you know? Sometimes we chat about games and stuff. And that's about it. And I like it. Oh, mailbox. I got mail. A letter from Albert. Stella, make sure you change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. Pen pals are the best pals. Everyone knows that. Albert, your local ship, right? Ooh, oh. Wait, let's see. Okay. Is everyone fed? They're really... There isn't really a fire, but I wouldn't mind a nice hot dish to warm me up. Ah! Didn't remember that that's the last one I gave her. This is outrageously good. Comfort food always tastes so good. Does not eat meat. Loves dessert. Another treat. A dessert will always cheer me up. Just don't tell my teeth. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, what do we have on the list? Quest, we got... Gather the resources and return to Albert's to get their boat. Here we go. Uh, build a house for a tool. You're a dog person, you chair. Oh, yeah, sorry. I <laughs> you can share any any pets you want. We are we do not um <laughs> we love all pets, it's just that I only have cats right now, so <laughs> you got some cat pigs, but they're always hiding LOL. Well. I I get that. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see what we need for these houses, and if we have room for said houses. Okay, we need oak and maple and linen thread. Okay, we can make more linen thread right now. It's so satisfying. Oops. And simple. Like, I don't know, this game. It's just like meditation. When they're not hiding, they're knocking stuff down and making life painful. <laughs> that is, that is the definition of a cat. And I know they're sweet, snuggly critters. Oh, oh, I love it when cats get all snuggly. Um, I've been. I was away for one night because I was um, house sitting for someone, and my cat, like if I'm gone for like one night, he gets really snuggly. It's like, where were you?
Oh, it's almost done. It was a good time. Oh, don't forget. So, about my house, the guest house that just doesn't cut anymore. I know, I know, I'm getting there. Wait, what did I need? Uh, okay, I should pin the houses. Uh, how do I do that? Do this. Oh, I can't. And then how do I... So the upgrade would be at the shipyard, I think. We need maple plank and oak plank. Um, that would be the... Sawmill, which is the bane of my existence right now. And we only have maple. How many do I need? I'll just do ten, I guess. Ah! Very close. You're one cat. You had to do one each will. Oh, sorry. I can't. I I will wait because I cannot read chat and do this at the same time. It's going very well. <gasps> oh! I wonder if this is easier on controller. Probably not. That one was close. <laughs> it isn't you're playing on ps4 good to know <laughs> good to know that it's not any easier where we all suffer equally uh, okay hold on i want to go back to kanga's uh your one cat you had since 2012 and you rescued him he was left under the porch at your grandma's you convinced your uncle to climb under and get him and your parents to keep your aunt who's a vet said he wouldn't live past the weekend because he was so malnourished and only eight ounces but after bottle feeding him and washing him in a tiny Tupperware container, he's now like 10 pounds and healthy as can be. Oh, Kanga, that's amazing. That's a lovely story. Uh, at the time, you convinced your great-grandpa had left him for you because he passed because we found him the day after the funeral. Oh my gosh, Kanga, that's such a sweet, like, cat story. <gasps> that's wonderful. Okay, we can build this. Ooh, can we? It can go right there. Oh boy, I wonder. Man, this is like the only place it can go. I need oak. Oh my gosh! Oh, I love this! There's a little pond! All right, I think I'm just gonna sleep. And then 
We got a new place on the map that has it said something about an oak forest. So I think that's where we will go next. I want this hat that Stella has. This is very cute. Is it, oh, okay. Green and teal? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I mean, might as well go for it. Oh, I forgot to wake people up. I kind of want to see what happens if you ring the bell like in the middle of the night. But also, I know that would be pretty rude. Would you look at that? Oh. It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little one me. Oh. I can't wait to catch them, should I? This is really great. Thank you so oh. much. I won't forget this. Yay. Stella, dear, doing good? I see you've been taking good care of your plants. That's good. I hope my teachings are helping you in some way. They get upset. Yeah, I bet they do. And that's why I don't want to do it, but I also kind of want to see what it's like. Ringing the bell is your favorite, right? Before they were like, oh, only ring it like in the morning. I was like ringing it all the time. <laughs> I hope my teachings are helping you in some way. You know, I used to be quite the little soldier. Midfield State University. Agronomical Engineering Class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of these big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land. Several thousands of acres. I was to maximize the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, it, I did it well. I crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When the insects came, I doused them with poison. And when the soil turned gray, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great, powerful stems grew upon these grounds, and plentiful, unnaturally enormous pods. But underneath all laid an unfathomable sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then, sooner or later. I like getting all the backstories, you know. Once you kept ringing it and the deer told you to stop. Oh no! That's what you'd do in Minecraft, you'd scare all the villagers with the bell. <laughs> How, like, you can't just put a bell in a game and expect people not to ring it. <laughs> That's the game maker's fault. <laughs> oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. You like the sound responses that the snake makes? Yes. They obviously put so much, like, care into, like, designing all the characters and stuff. Uh-oh. Do I have to do this again? If... Can, you, can you not go past the... The dragon? Oh, no. I guess we will find out. Once again, the dragon is back, Stella. Should we help it? Yes. All right, let's get ready for it. Oh, I see, you just get to do it again, which is basically you get more quartz, which is always good to have. Whee! PlayStation is giving away the game, which is why I started- Wait, that's so cool! I... I- I don't have a PlayStation. I would definitely get this game on PlayStation. Um, if I did... Oh! Um... I got it on Steam and it was like 75% off, which was really good. Whoop! Uh-oh. Whee! <laughs> I really 
really like that there's like you don't die in this game like i i like a challenge but i also like something that's just like there is it's not really a challenge it's just fun you know you've always seen this game advertised but never was interested before yeah i mean i i saw it a little bit advertised i've seen a few people play it a little bit and i was like intrigued and it was kind of on my list of like oh i should play that for a long time but like it was like lower down on the list so i kept getting things before this one you know but then it was on sale and i was like okay i'm gonna get this you, you want to find more cozy games that are similar um but you might have to just play it again when you're done yeah have you played stardew valley i would say stardew valley has a very similar vibe it looks relieved doesn't it i wonder what it means if we are ever to cross this dragon's path again i think you should it. however i might feel about it for now though i need some time to collect myself. thank you Stella, for everything. Stardew is your go-to chill and cozy. Yeah, you have Stardew. Yeah, it's it's very good. And I, there was a time in my life where pretty much all I did was play Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, it is once you pick it up, it's a very hard game to put down. Although I I don't think I was streaming yet. You love to sit on the couch or lay in bed and play it on your Switch. Oh yeah, Switch. It's. It's a really good Switch game. You think what you like about this game is that it gives you objectives and let you explore at the same time. Yeah, that's true. It's like you can do either way and you don't feel like you're missing out on too much either way. You know? What do you what you're going to want? Ooh. I love the hugs Ooh. from a tool. They're so cute. Ooh. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine? <laughs> like, absolutely. It was great. You definitely, uh, Animal Crossing on the Switch, absolutely. Again, Animal Crossing, like the last two years was pretty much Animal Crossing years for me. But I, I kind of finally stopped playing it. Yeah, you definitely logged a lot of hours on Animal Crossing Me too. I got my mom into it. It was like the first video game that my mom played and she loved it. She loved it. You're more into extreme games like Call of Duty, but occasionally you'll just want to play a chill game. No, absolutely. Like. I was playing um, Elden Ring before this, <laughs> and I love Elden Ring, but I don't know. This sometimes you need a cozy vibe. Zelda is pretty chill. Zelda's a great mix, especially like Breath of the Wild, is like a great mix of like cozy and fun versus like action and fighting. Spirit Fair is almost meant to be played in a Bing Bang Fair. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, look at how beautiful this is. I now I want to look into like giant beanbag chairs. I don't know if I could stream in one though. Zelda is one of your top games. It's mine too. Are you are you excited for Breath of the Wild 2? I'm so excited. Oh, a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Burogawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding your our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. <laughs> Ready? You're gonna head off. You're gonna go buy gifts because both your best friends. B-days are tomorrow. Oh my gosh. You gotta buy them both something. All right, Kinga, have fun. I hope you have fun at the birthday. Brother, well, yeah, two looks sick with the custom vehicles. Yeah, we're all excited for it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Kinga, yeah, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Ready? Perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches are a healthy f and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. I 
I don't want to run too fast. Ooh. Nope, there we go. Over Ooh. here. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. Ooh. And I'm not sure why. I sometimes play with them and I'm off when I'm off duty. But that's besides the point. Ooh. Off to our next stop. There's so many February February birthdays. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You catch you later. It was fun catching up. Yeah, absolutely, Kanga. Anytime. Uh-oh. The dark forest. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we can move along, that would be great. Interesting. I'm giving a tour here. <laughs> Oh, look at all these. Oh, <laughs> that tool's here. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Oh. Gotta catch up to our tour guide. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. All right, this concludes our tour. Furugawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of Tippy Quinn. Yes! That's amazing! I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up for, to our upcoming tours newsletter. We'll have an educational great time. <laughs> Thank you for your kind spirit. <laughs> that was so sweet! Cheap. Ah. Strawberries. Ooh, yum. Okay, we gotta. Okay, first we gotta get some oak trees. Although I feel like if I chop down these trees, something bad might happen because they do glow. But I love, I love the little chopping trees animation. Daffodil is the cutest. We'll bite. The sunset colors. Ah. I don't know how to get wool from sheep. There might be like a certain thing. That's it. A certain thing I have to do. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can get wool from sheep. Maybe not. Maybe they're just there to bath. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. All right, so it's just about time to take a break. Uh, I guess we'll just stay here and I will um, cut these boards when we get back. Oh, big stretch. Okay, um, yeah, break time. Uh, feel free to like get up, get water, get food, get whatever you need, stretches. All hello, hello. We are back with the cats. I see there's some hydration going during the break. That's awesome. Always support hy hydration. All right, kitty. <laughs> Whoop. That one fell off the bed. That was my bad.
Okay, that one he he threw off. Grumpig. I don't want to add. I don't think you can hear the game right now, but I want to add the game. Song. It's so soothing. So I have kind of a dilemma because I'm gonna I want to continue playing Spirit Forever in the future. We might just yeah keep playing this, but I also want to get back to Slime Rancher Two because it's been a while since we played and there's been some updates in the beta. So or the early access, I guess, and I want to play that. But I also want to get back to Elden Ring. So I <laughs> we'll see. We'll figure it out. I, I'm excited for all of it, but you want to look up the music supervisor for this game? It's so, it's so beautiful. It's almost like Studio Ghibli. Yes, absolutely. It's Studio Ghibli vibe. What is Slime Rancher? Slime Rancher is only one of the best games ever. It's, I would say, like on the cozy scale, it's it's pretty cozy. Um, It's a little bit more action-y than this game, if you want it to be. Um, It's three-dimensional. I, I highly recommend um, like looking it up on Steam or Google or something. I I don't know if it's on console. It might just be PC, but it's one of my favorite games ever. You play as a, a slime rancher and you go to this like planet and you like create this farm and you you collect these creatures that are called slimes. Um, it's really good. Are you facing the dilemma that every gamer has? Play a new game or something I already own. Um. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> the the ever the ever known the problem with a capital P for gamers, the gamer problem. Yeah. <laughs> and also like especially as a streamer, it's like I I only have so much time to stream stuff, but I also want to play all the games on stream. It's on all consoles? Oh yes, okay. I I didn't know that. I might have to get it for Switch too. It's Slime Rancher is so good. And you don't I don't think the the second one, Slime Rancher 2 is still in early access. So, I think if you're not sure about it, like I would definitely recommend just getting the first one first, which is just Slime Rancher. It's so good. <laughs> That's another one that I've just piled hours and hours and hours into. Um Okay, Rachel. Oh, there's one right there. It's right in front of you. You found it. There you go. Good. But yeah, highly recommend. I have my playthrough of Slime Rancher 2 or the so far um, on YouTube as well. All right, let's get back to the game. But yeah, it's it's one of my favorites is just is so cute and yeah good sounds oh here we go oh it's harder why is oak harder oh no play it if you like i don't mind oh no i mean I was talking about like later, like in the future, like next week. <laughs> Not today. I still want to play Spirit Fair today. But it's like, I'm thinking about like next week if I only stream like two or three times a week, it's like, I can only play so many games, you know? And I want to, I, part of me wants to just play Spirit Fair until I finish it. But another part of me wants to kind of like get back to Slime Rancher 2. And I'm like, 
So many games, so little time. And I want to get back to Elden Ring. Although Elden Ring, I'm like, that game I could play offline or not on stream and like grind and stuff. And like, I feel like no one would miss watching me do all the boring parts of Elden Ring, you know? But then it's like, then, then I'm playing <laughs> video games 24 seven and I have no other time for anything else. I don't remember how many openings I did. Let's see. Oh, we got it. But do we have space? No! I don't think so. Hmm, maybe we could... Move stuff around. Oh! Oh, oh, I see. Put the kitchen all the way up there. Try it. You never played Elden Ring? I I love it. I think it takes it's like not everyone would. You know it is very like action y <sighs> action adventure fighty. Grindy. You die a lot. <laughs> um, but if that's, you know, if, if open world fantasy fighting games are, are something you like, then I, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... No. <laughs> you like action RPGs and you just beat Final Fantasy X for the first time recently? Ooh, then you probably would like Elden Ring. Have you played any of the Souls games? I have not. I Elden Ring was my first Souls game. So it took some getting used to, but I like it. You like that you have a camera for your cats? Uh, you're thinking about doing the same thing you stream with your dog. I... Pet cams are my favorite. Let me turn it off, actually, because there are no pets at the moment. But, like, if I'm not sure about, like, if I'm, like, just starting to watch someone stream and they have a pet cam, I'm, like, instantly, I'm, like, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I never played Souls. Yeah, me, honestly, before Elden Ring, me neither. Um, but if you know anything about it, it's very, like, you just die a lot. And you have to get used to the fact that you're going to have to be try to beat a boss, like, 20 times. Like, that's just a fact of the game. Um, and once I, like, figured that out, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. You just, you have to, you have to fail a lot before you win, and that's fine. Is there any way I can, like, Tetris all this? I don't think so. Oh.
<laughs> this is sad. I'm gonna have to upgrade, I think. I think this is what it just was before. You work both times, so it's hard to dedicate time to a game where you don't make progress, at least at a normal pace. That is fair. That is fair. And Elden Ring... Uh, it does... It does feel like you're up against a brick wall. A lot. For sure. I wish I could so just keep it like this for now, I guess. All right. Um, we're going to go back to... Ooh. Cool. Um, well, maybe we should go, since we're in the area, we should go here. Wake up, everyone. I've completely rearranged your houses. I hope you're okay with that. did not line up any of these ladders well. Is he making stuff? Ooh. Should I stop? No. I'll keep on sign. Oh. <laughs> I made this really confusing. <laughs> I'll take a cup of coffee anytime, any day. Feeling much better. Okay. That's not true. Wait, wait, what is not true? Sorry, sometimes I like say things or do something. The deer is so picky, that's true. That is very true. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so hard to feed. Oh. 
Oh, right. Via Maggiore discovered. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I forgot. I, th I forgot this is where I sent our boat. Oh wait, got to talk. Here we are. It's curious. I'm both excited and anxious. I'm even starting to have second thoughts, as if. Never mind. Let's go. Oh, how long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry has been taking good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we ever had with us. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? I have not, but I've seen a, lo a little bit of gameplay. I feel like the sound designer may be the same person. Ooh, that's a good endorsement right there. I've heard really good things about Hollow Knight. Mom has not been home much since father died. Shit, I'm much more emotional than I thought I could ever be. I love this house so much. As much as I hated it, probably. Mm. Look, I don't think I can go in there, even with you. Just... Mm. No, I can't. Go without me, I'll wait for you here. Here's the mm. key. Oh, and Stella, if you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Mm. This is gonna be sad. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. Uh-oh. If you're lost, you have to follow the light. Luck in there. I'll wait for you outside. It's the Dark Souls of dungeon crawling games. Oh my gosh! That sentence right there. <laughs> the Dark Souls of dungeon crawling. I... It's all... That one's kind of like also on my list of like... Oh. Oh, follow the light. Okay. I see. But yeah, like Hollow Knight's also on my list of like things I'm I'm kind of on the lookout to pick up for, you know? Like if it's on sale or something. This is a fun little puzzle. And I got the music box. Oh. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Bridge. Is that it? All Definitely a maze. I do like the art of Hollow Knight from what I've seen of it. Found the box? Did you give it to me? Oh, look, you can give. Oh. Interesting. You can, like, give them anything. Afraid? He's not gonna like stuff. So I'm not gonna do that right yet. So what? Oh, give the music box. Oh! Oh! I get it. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a little bit to figure out what I gotta do. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you found something else? Wow, I forgot we even had that. It's an old manual for a golden royale. Mm. Remember they had one as first prize in the town's yearly tombola? I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. 
This manual will come in handy. We can use it as an upgrade for your loom. I... Yeah, let's get back to the boat and forget this place ever existed. Interesting. Can I give you a hug? Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Okay. if I fall. Whew. Asked and answered. Oh, money. Old coin collection. I want to see if there's anything else here. Secret passage. Let's go. Hey, Stella. Stella, I... Nah, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Or is it? Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improved tab in your blueprint table. Through there, you can add decorative elements to the spirit houses and the station. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've got the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from thread. Mm -hmm. Go on. Ooh. Oh, wait. Improve. We need... Ten maple plank, linen thread, bright jelly. Okay. Back. Oh man, this looks so bad. I I the way I rearranged it is not good. I kinda wanna fix that. Oh, we okay, we need more fiber. in here. You're reading the wiki for Spirit Fair according to the page instead of a boat. It was supposed to be a train? Oh man, I would love a version of Spirit Fair where that's on a train instead. That's so cool. Um, no. There's a, what button? I don't remember how to play my instrument. You. Okay. Can you only do that in the garden? No. love this part. Oh, except for when I get it wrong. Like being able to play music for your plants, it's so cute.
And then I forget what I'm doing and I'm just like doing the music. Just for the music's sake. Sorry, I can't read chat right now. I'm too busy playing music for my plants. I guess that's all I can do. <laughs> uh, it looks so different on PC playing music. Oh, I bet. Do you use like just the joystick to do like directional? That's probably what you do, huh? Cause yeah, you have to like press the buttons. <laughs> and it's weird cause like, like they change the lines, but like it's the same button on different lines. And that, that used to throw me off. Square, triangle, and X. Oh, I see. Still. <laughs> Very odd. Very different. To be fair, it would probably be the Wasad. Like, the... I just... I'm left-handed. So I have... I remap my directional buttons. Okay. I'm not cooking anything. I should probably cook stuff. We still, oh, we need maple plank and bright jelly. Ooh. We still need glims for that. Do we have maple? I think we do. Go. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> Every time I do this right, oh uh oh. I spoke too soon. Whoop. Of course, those ones are a little easier. But then they're like down, up, down. Hopefully that's enough. Yes. Now all we need is bright jelly. So we need to get some jellyfishes. Ah. I wish I could at least choose where we were going. Like, I know I'm not gonna, like, start heading there. But I wish I could just be like, okay, when we wake up, this is where we're going. Oh, look! Jellies! Oh, good morning, honeybee. That was very cute. 
Oh. Okay, hold on. Give you coffee. That was my last coffee. Okay. Okay, we gotta do the jellyfish thing now. Huh? Again! Here we are again, the jellyfish are stealing all the light. As they've stolen all hope for me. I'll never get used to it, and a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. Alright, you can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Yes. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Okay, they don't hurt, you're just... Ah! No, come back! needed three bright jellies. Ah! But, you know, the more the better. Give me your little green glowy thing. Uh oh, you're Ah Do I have I'll let it go. I don't think I can get it. Ooh. Forget about that kitchen. It really needs to be improved. I know. What do we need for the kitchen? Okay, we can upgrade. We need linen fabric. Perfect. Now the loom is fully useful. Of course, many stations can be upgraded. You just have to find the blueprints for them and the materials, of course. Stella, I believe it's time for me to teach you advanced loom technique. Yes, it's a thing. There are a few improvements you can make to the machine itself. It depends on how you place your hands on the machine. How you arrange threads as you load it has a big impact too. Mm -hmm. With a few simple tricks, you'll be able to craft much more intricate items. Fabric, actually. Here, let's take a look. You can finally craft fabric from thread.
I have to wait. Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the night father died. Mom was still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. He was polite, very articulate. We chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar, which was odd for an accountant. He told me father's last words were that he loved me. We never talked again. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later. Uh, yes, I'll take the thread. Okay, how do I... Okay. Oh, it's the same. Okay. Harder. Ah. Yeah, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. <laughs> and then I'm leaving. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. You're natural. Why am I not surprised? You've reached a pro level now. There's nothing more I can teach you on this mm -hmm. subject. That being said, and if you don't mind, I'll give it a go myself. It'll definitely help me unwind a bit. Yay. I got planks! Planks, get your planks. I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy! One. <laughs> one. One oak plank. Better than nothing. Here we go. Good. You got that done quick, Sprout. Thanks for taking the time. A good kitchen is a good investment. You'll see. You won't regret it. I promise. Well, my stomach either. Thanks. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, now we can put two different things in. Okay. Now we get. What would be good to get? Oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Okay, hold on. We gotta figure this out. Maybe it has to be the. Okay. Let's see what that does. Maybe it just makes more things at once. There we go. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I'm still really grateful to you for having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin, but I must admit it's uh, just a bit empty. You know me, I've spent my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this one, I believe we could do something very special. Unique. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improving might do the trick. Fabulous. I'll leave you to it. No rush. Alright, I want to rearrange the buildings and make them good again, because this is ridiculous. But I also want to see... Uh, what, what do I need to improve? Oh, I have it. Oh! You can do individual things. Um, and I need more maple logs for that. Okay. 
That's cool. Uh, let's edit. Uh, the guest house. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the guest house being over here. Um, but I want. This is a very fun puzzle. Still not. We're close though. Hold on. <gasps> we can do it. Spirit Fair definitely traps your inner puzzler. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did it. I figured it out. <laughs> Incredible, Stella. Wood! Plants! There's even an all-natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. How well I'll sleep in that same bed. Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask you. It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level, just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun. Living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So, Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough, and it won't be for nothing. You'll see. I can teach about all of the interesting properties of each one you bring me. Alright. Oh, I have letters. Um, give some more three gemstones. Protest flyer. Workers unite! You are done being paid unfair wages. You are done being exploited for the benefits of the upper class. Say no to capitalist abuse rallied to our cause at Bottom Line Corp. Union for Working Denizens. Yeah. Pro Union. Raccoon Ink Flyer. Dear customer, due to an unforeseen supply shortage at our Bottom Line Corp. Depot, Raccoon Ink will no longer be able to apply our special rebate program for recurring customers. Please know it is with great regret that we have to inform you of the situation 
and rest assured valued customer of our continuous efforts to improve it raccoon ink trade is our family name did you say you played this game before no um this is my second stream of it but this is my first playthrough all right uh, i'm gonna go So we need uh... Ooh, I can do this. I want to get more glimpse though. Uh... But I guess we should sleep. For, uh, it's your first time playing too? Yeah. I I love first play. They're so fun. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> I just like ringing the bell. There's no reason for them to be awake, but... Oh, look who's right here. Sprout! Why don't you fish anymore? It's really calming. You just cast the line and you wait. So relaxing. Then it's the fight of your life. You give it all your heart. What's not to love about it? <laughs> all right, uncle. I'll fish. You started over the weekend and you vlogged about 10 hours? Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't... This is... Like, I've had it for a couple weeks now and this is only, like, my second time playing. But I love it. I love games like that where it's just like, you can just get sucked into it. Hey, shrimp. What's for dinner? My stomach is rumbling. I see you've got new equipment in your kitchen. We've got the tools to feed an army. I need a little pick-me-up. Something that can keep me going for hours. Some pork chops, maybe? If I had access to my kitchen, my spices, and the market back home, I could whip up something. I just don't know what's possible here. We'll just have to make it up as you go along. That's what cooking is. Laying that line that doesn't come back to haunt you. <laughs> Wise words that your great-grandma once told me. What a lady. I was looking up some other indie games. Have you played Outer Wilds? Oh my god, Outer Wilds is like maybe in my top three games of all time. It's so good and I highly recommend it. Um, I played it on stream a while ago. I've been thinking about playing it again actually because it's been, it's been a little bit, but I love that game so much. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose, filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to elf, little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it. And I never would have met you. She taught me, not as one normally teaches. But by opening my eyes to what was already within, to the rich interior life unquashed by the dragon, unquashed by my father, <sighs> to the interconnectedness of all things, the universal love, this immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. You have it, but you hit a wall. You're going to play it again. I, I also hit walls and like, I love it. I love that game so much. I. I would say, I, I know for me to keep kind of enjoying it, I had to do some, like, I had to look up stuff eventually. I was like, so, I don't know. I would say no, there's definitely no shame in looking stuff up, especially in that game. Cause like, there's so much and like, they really just leave you to figure it out on your own. Um. So yeah, that's my advice. But yeah, play it again. 
I love it. Um... All she eats, all I give her is coffee and popcorn, and that cannot be good for your tummy. <laughs> but, oh well. Okay, I need... Ooh, I have five of them? I think I need 4,000 glim. It's intricate and challenging, but you do love puzzles. Yes. It is It is one giant you, like solar system of a puzzle. And it, yeah, it's so good, but it is very intricate. <laughs> oh. Oh, I need that though. I think I have enough. Whoa. It'd be nice to have a little bit left over, though. Um, Aaron. Oh, I still don't have grilled fish for you. All right. All right. That's that's it. I I also got the DLC for it, and I did not. I will say I have not finished the DLC yet. <laughs> Um, cause it's scary. It's like, it freaked me out. <laughs> I won't say any spoilers, but it was, it was <laughs> scary. Even though like, I like scary games, but I don't know. It was, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> um, wow, there's a lot of new places. Um... But I would. Oh boy. Um... It's definitely ominous. Yes, absolutely. And just like the feeling of like having a whole solar system to explore and you just just go out there like space is always kind of giving me like an ominous feeling you know and but playing that game really helped me kind of face that and it was really fun you saw during the break that you play dvd you play dvd too yes i you know i haven't played in a well i've sort of taken a break from it although i played like a couple weeks ago but I want to get back to it because, like, I I do really love DVD. Do you are you a killer or a survivor main, or do you play both? I am I'm mostly a survivor. I'm definitely a survivor main, but I definitely I play killers. <sighs> remember what the workshop looks like there's a new chapter coming out yes it's like the like a robot killer right survivor always fair enough i yeah like i said i'm mostly survivor but i you know sometimes i'll i'll get the the feeling of like oh i kind of want to oh hold on oh, oh, oh. <laughs> stop the boat stop the boat <laughs> i forgot it doesn't stop, it just... Do you have, like, a favorite survivor? I am very excited for the new chapter coming out. Um, I, I haven't even really played the previous chapter that came out, even though I am very excited for the Night Killer. Um, but I, I haven't even bought it yet. Like, I need to, I need to, like, set aside time to be like, I'm gonna do DVD today just get back into it but it's been a while okay, let's go
You were Zarina for a long time. Ooh. That's cool. I feel like not a lot of people play Zarina. But I, I like to play with her. Or to play with people who are playing her. I, I don't think I have her yet. But you've branched out. That's cool. The night is pretty cool. Bought it. I haven't yet. I want to. Because I, I love I love night stuff. I love a big suit of armor, you know? Do you mean the killer? Yes, yeah, sorry. Like the 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 chapter. I have not I have not gotten it yet. Yeah. Although I like the um the survivor in that chapter is pretty cool too. I think I just need log. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually like plant stuff. You know, you can buy them separately, but I usually buy the chapters together because I'm like, might as well. Um, but like, you can go to the store and just buy one or the other. On PC? No. Yeah, like you can, yeah, like I said. I, j I just normally do it because I do it through Steam. And you can't buy, you cannot buy the individual characters through Steam. You just, you can just buy the chapter, but if you're like in the DVD store, you can buy them separately with Oric Oric cells. Oh wait, where is I forgot you have to like talk to them before it happens. Oh. A lightning storm, don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. I do like that they give you the option to kinda of do the mini game. Like you don't have to. I'm guessing you play on, on PS4. I I have not played on console, and I'm I wonder how it if you like it. I did although to be fair, I did play on PC when I first started. I I played with um, a controller because I'm left-handed and I wasn't sure if I could remap. I didn't know how to like remap a keyboard yet, so I just played on the controller. That was interesting. Oh no! Dandelion! Daffodil! Not Dandelion. Oof. Called my cat the wrong name. Oof. Oh no! Okay, I'm out of bottles. But that's okay. We'll get glimpses from it. Uh, you, you hear they have their own advantages. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Who me? I'm glad there's like such easy crossplay, you know. Like I don't know, I like playing with like other people from different uh, consoles and stuff. Beaterama fire. Dear future customer, this is Madison at Beto Rama. We are currently running a promotion for our new food delivery service. Stop by on Hummingbird to hear all about it. The sales rep is waiting for you. Cheers, Madison. And there's so much stuff to go, like, check out. And I haven't even done that yet. You're told the PC usually receives the chapters before consoles players. That, that I, you know what, I don't know if that's for sure, but I would not be surprised. It feels like there is a little bit of like a, a bias to the computer, the PC. Um, or maybe it's just the PTB, like the... If you do it through Steam, you can also join the... Um, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if console has the PTB. What does that stand for? Player test builds. <laughs> I had to think about it. So like, I know, yeah, like if you're on PC, you can like test it out. Um, before, for sure. 
Almost there. You haven't heard of PTP before? But you know some games allow betas, but it's rare on console yes definitely um yeah the ptd is basically like the 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 beta version for the they'll like put chapters out early and people can play it um and they don't even have to buy it beforehand um, but i don't like you don't like you don't get um <laughs> god my brain uh blood points like they don't transfer over to the regular game or anything um, but it's just a way for people to test out um, new stuff. Oh, I usually, you know, I don't usually play the PTB though. I just watch other people play it. Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. But I'm <laughs> okay, we want a bigger boat. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. We need 8,000 for the Dauntless Dolphin. A massive sized boat that cannot be beat. Okay, then can we... We can do this. Or we could do, oh, not do the snowplow. Are you a fan of horror films? I am. I am a huge fan of horror films. It's funny, I used to, like, I've always loved horror and kind of dark, macabre, spooky stuff, but it wasn't until a few years ago where I could actually, like, sit through a horror movie without being too scared. <laughs> like, I really made myself like watch horror movies and be like I want to get used to horror movies I want to get better at watching them and now I really love them all right uh... a windmill to harness the power of the wind to produce the finest of flowers mark your first calendar it's harvard harvest time with the orchard we still a sheep corral <gasps> Yes. Okay. Um. What haven't I? I haven't even made a foundry yet, though. And we need coal and oak. Blank. All right. You were really scared too, your partner introduced them to you. Yeah, it definitely helps to have someone who who can like sit there with you and be like, no, it's okay. Do you have any favorites? what the rules for this stove are. Oh, I did not mean to take that out. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Alright. And 
we need I need a plank. What's it? You like Jacob's ladder, the original? I have not seen that. Or the Wayling. I have not seen that either. I will now put them on my mental list. Okay, we need pork chops. Where do I get pork chops? I guess I have to buy the buy it. Okay. Um Oh, we're making the that's right, I wanna make the foundry. Okay, I gotta like make a list of things that I'm doing. I rack. Yeah, we need plank. Which I think I can make. Um, but yeah. Are those more like... Like, do you have like a... a... Sorry, hold on. Talking and doing this at the same time is very hard. Um, what am I trying to say? Like, like with horror movies, you like more of like slasher kind of violent ones or like more like thriller, cerebral, like psychological horror. Or do you like them all? I did really bad on that one. Ah. Okay, we got, we just need the pole, which is being made right now. You like slasher and psychological horror and thrillers. <laughs> that, that kind of runs the gamut. I love it. Okay, that's going to take a really long time to make, I feel like. Is that even moving? Barely. Oof. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I like them all too. I really... I think I'm I'm a little bit more on like the psychological side of it. <laughs> but I don't know, a good slasher movie is good, you know? Um, I just watched Uma, which has Sandra O oh in it. It was very good. Um I'm trying to think. Like, what are my other favorites? Uh I watched Smile. I don't I liked it, but like the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I don't know. But I, it, I thought it was a decent watch. Did I already give you? Oh, Stella, is there anything better on this earth than a bowl of brain salad? By far my favorite. This will fill me up with unbridled joy. Thank you so much, my dear. Yay! You haven't heard of that? Of of Uma? It's very good. Um, it's definitely like I don't know if I'd say it's like psychological horror. It's probably mostly psychological horror, but it's like it has this really beautiful story about um like intergenerational trauma. Which I think was really good. Do you think Smile is better than the Babadook? I have not seen the Babadook, and it's on my list. But it's interesting that you say that because I've heard a lot of people really like the Babadook, and I like Smile a lot. Um, and it definitely had some really unnerving moments. But I, I still want to see the Babadook for sure. Um, have I seen Sick? It came out recently. I have not seen it. Um, is it? Actually, I don't even know if I've heard of it. Is it good? Did you like it? Cause I, yeah, like I'm always open to like new stuff. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, coal. I'm just waiting for the coal to be done. Where do we want to go? Let's go somewhere new. Hey, Kanga, you're back. Welcome in. We're talking about horror movies.
What ones? Um, we were just talking about Smile and um, the Babadook. And Zoo thinks that Smile is better than the Babadook. I have not seen the Babadook, so I cannot weigh in. But you want to see Smile? I liked it. I liked it. Um, I mean, I could go into I think some of its like deeper messaging was a little muddled. But I liked it overall. Um, is it, yeah, it's a solid horror horror movie. Um, where am I and where do I want to go? Uh, I want to go where the... Where the oh, yes, this is where I want to go. You've only watched a few horror movies, but you're a massive fan of the Conjuring films. Yes, I have very recently in the last couple months watched through like most of the Conjuring films. I liked them, yeah. Wasn't a fan of threes. I did not watch three for for some reasons. Uh <laughs> um partially because like the Conjuring is based on like real people, right? Like the whole thing. Like the history is super interesting, right? But I know the third one, the kid, right? The third one is like, it's like a legal one, right? It's like someone's like, dude, like the devil made it, made me do it defense, right? Which in like, it actually happened. And then, but the movie did not ask permission for some of those characters. In, specifically in number three, they did not ask some of the people for the rights to their life like and the kid that it happened to was like really messed up and he was like hey maybe don't like make a movie about me without asking first so i was like you know what i'm not gonna w watch that one but i like the other ones and i've watched the first two annabelle movies are there only two annabelle movies you studied and knew the true stories behind Ed and Lorraine Warren. You've always loved Ed and, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Movies are great, though. The true story is creepier. That's true. I And, you know, I will say we're up front. I'm not... As someone who loves, like, horror movies and stuff, I'm not a believer in Ghost or the Paranormal. Um, at the most, I'm, like, agnostic. but And skeptical. <gasps> oh, she's playing playing the music <gasps> thank you I love me chop these down but I do love the stories and I love to to read about it you know and I love the history regardless you're not missing much from the third one oh, that's you know and that's also what I've heard is like the first two are good but yeah You've had some stuff happen to you that got you into it and then got really into the stories and passionate about it. Yeah, that's cool. I, like, uh, yeah, like, I also, I'm not interested in, like, telling people that their own experiences aren't true, you know? And, like, yeah, I know, like, I have not had those experiences. And maybe if I did, I'd think differently, you know? The fourth is going to be by the ones who made the second, so it'll be jump scary. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I, You know what I watched recently was um, The Nun? What Was that what it was called? That one was interesting. Like, there's so many, like, shoot-offs from The Conjuring now. Um, and I, I don't know if I loved it. <laughs> um, but it was kind of fun. Kind of fun to have like the backstory. That one was, but I think that one was more fictional, right? Like the nun part of it was kind of added. I think. You watched the first animal movie and it was boring. You fell asleep. It, to be like, I, I think I enjoyed watching it just because it was kind of funny. But it wasn't that good, you know. Like so there are movies that you watch because they're like, or horror movies you watch because they're like. You're into it. They're good. 
And there's some horror movies that you watch because it's like, this is funny and not scary. The Nun was more fiction, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Because I was like, I know they kind of added that part to the Conjuring movie. Um, and Anna Annabelle was one of those ones that was like, it was kind of funny to watch. Um, but yeah. Oh, I don't know why we're going. I think it's about to be snooze time. Oh, hello, raccoon. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well off patron, what can I do you for? Well, you're not letting me buy anything. Okay. If you listen to the true stories behind the first conjuring, it'll make you wondering why they didn't put some of that of the movie because of how creepy it is. Yeah, I. I remember I, I did learn about the the actual like stories, but it was a while ago, so I don't remember all of it. But I, I yeah, I remember like watching the movie and being like, wait, this is this is different. <laughs> mm -hmm. The time has come, fr my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequity. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low wage employment. Mm -hmm. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. Your conditions here have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him a profit. And he is the one living off of your backs. This is what I fantasize when I'm at work. Mm -hmm. As being this guy. Here we gonna grab some food. Ooh, I hope it's good food. See you in a bit. Do not despair, my friends. Together we can reverse the unjust stream of enrichment. Together, we can finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. Power you deserve and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. Yeah, let's find his wallet. An extra 10 minutes. Oh, I didn't have time to read all of this. Oh. The second one, you're not so informed on the true story, so you can't really have input, but it was def terrifying, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean... Like, whether or not, like, I believe in, like, ghosts, like... What people, I, I don't, yeah, what people describe as having gone through, scary, super scary. And, oh, oh. no, <laughs> no mercy. Wait, let me talk to you. There we go. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me get up on this box. And the third, you being an aspiring lawyer was extremely, extremely interesting. Oh, interesting. Inga, I'm not sure I knew you were an aspiring lawyer. That's cool. Hello there. You've come to join our protest. Yes. Good. Come on in. I even have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Coward. See if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before their conditions have improved. Yeah. Let's go unionize. Sprout. Look at that fuse box. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I were their union leader, believe you me, I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Same. All right. Ah, we need a key. All right. Anyone have a key? Let's follow him home. Down with this fascist dog. This, this game is not pulling any punches. Let's take the fight to him. I'm just here because I can take a longer break. Oh. Let's eat his dinner and see if he likes it. Mm. Okay, where do we get this key? Mm. Dude, I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Ooh, this is fun. Go away! Ah! Another... Ooh, can we go through the window? Oh. What do you want? Get away from here. I have done nothing wrong. Oh. I am the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them. Oh my god. I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, oh. right? I'm not responsible for their poor life choices. Or their, for their lack of higher qualifications. And they should be happy I've not delocalized the production. Oh. What will I have to do next? Pay them medical insurance too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't make a difference if they have a broken arm or a whooping cough. They still don't work when they're not here. I hate this guy. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Wonton soup. Oops, not quite. <laughs> I am so bad at this. <laughs> There we go. Oh. Ah. Okay, how do we get up here? What? Mm -hmm. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. I'm not figuring this out. Okay. Oh! You gotta head out! Again, Guitar Store just called that your guitar is finally fully set up and fixed. Yay! Ooh, congrats. See you later, Kanga. Have fun with your guitar. That's awesome. Oh. Got no stock is because of the protest up there. Yeah, all right. Oh. They just want to negotiate, they say? Look, it's getting hot in here, and I'm getting hungry, too. Okay, you can tell them I'll reverse my decision on the vacation. I'll wait for you here. <laughs> so we just have to run between the two to negotiate. Okay, I see. I get it now. So? Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. As well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. What? What? Damn, I really gotta pee. Okay, okay. Oh. Whatever they want, tell them they'll get whatever they want, but they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags. Got oh. it? Okay, go now. I have to find the key to this door. Yay! That was easy. Mm -hmm. You agree to everything you said? Wonderful. You're one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I like you already. Look, my work is done here, thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. Mm -hmm. Yay! Can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Yay! We did it. Thanks for settling those worker disputes. Theodore doesn't like being in the middle of it. I should have I should have some stock shortly. Alright. Let's go! With our new friend! I like how they all gather here, you know? What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Took you long enough? This is so pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Woof. <laughs> that felt funny. You'd think I'd have seen everything at my mm -hmm. age. Not sure I liked it though, but it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Mm -hmm. Ah! Feels good to breathe the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Hmm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? Mm -hmm. You be a deer and fix me a little meal. Oh, that would be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, you can leave now. What do we think they're gonna like? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? 
and kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Bah, never mind. That will do. Thank you, Munch. Mm -hmm. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight the workers' rights. Mm -hmm. We should catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed mm -hmm. in case important things happen. No, no, just the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the seas. Mm -hmm. He could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. Mm -hmm. He should be around. She's gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. <sighs> She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up. Now. Gotta hug the old the wolf. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, very cute. Mm -hmm. Good, I needed that. Oh. Actually, they don't need anything. Okay, we're gonna go for probably another like 30 minutes about, just to give a heads up. Good morning, Sprout. I should talk to you. Pork chops, right. The service on the ship is incredible. All right. Pork crop. Oh, I have citrine. Where would you be? Oh, I haven't even looked at her house. This is beautiful. Oh, is that a piece of citrine? Did you know that citrine promotes motivation and act activated creativity? I've also heard that encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind revitalizer and emotions balancing stone. Yay! Wait, do you need food? No. Boundary. Oh, right. Let's build the boundary. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Okay, I might. <sighs> oh no. Okay. I'm gonna have to move stuff around. It's so big.
There we go. Oh, I get. Oh. Oh my gosh. So you got to keep it. Oh no. Too hot. So you gotta keep it in the zone. There we go. But I only have to do that once, that's nice. Ooh! Copper ink. Let's go get some oak logs. Ooh. That's Olga. All right. South Point Dock. Uh. Maple. Where was the oak? Is it already over here? No, it was. This is lit up. Interesting. All right, let's go to Olga first, I guess. Oh, wait. No. Uh, how do I undo? And here it is. Oh, it's still going for the coal. I don't think I have any bottles. A lightning storm, don't be scared. Want to catch any bullets? Can. No. That's too bad, Sprout. Maybe next time. you found me munchkin and i'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory the workers deserve better and the ruling class will never change a bunch of swines they are they are the same as us you know they just pretend to be superior only because their wallets are full and their houses are big yes i know not all rich people deserve to die but i've never accepted how the workers were treated exploited diminished 
just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust. And I will fight for them until my last dying breath. I love her. Mm -hmm. Aww. Doesn't like a tool's banging. Oh my god. I didn't know they could get on each other's uh, nerves like that. We didn't pass Olga. Maybe I shouldn't have made it a waypoint. Oh! Oh, we're stopping. Okay. I love her! Olga, you're awesome! I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, last time when we saw each other, things didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. You might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. Mm -hmm. You don't always make friends by being mm -hmm. honest, and you might even lose a few. But we're old now, so new under the bridge, as they say. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga, you haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so... Green. Astrid. My dear old Astrid. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see that you're still, that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit bearer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Chiron had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think you borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well, <laughs> I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? As you said, I'm back in the world. First thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irina is still focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting! She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Yes? You won't believe what I heard the other day. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant! Again! What? I can't believe it. Well, butter yeah. me up and call and me you know toast. What? Bob it's is not the father! Welcome in, Emily. Oh my god, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, oh my gosh, 21 months sub. Oh, Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. Let me give you a shout out there. How is everyone doing? Oh, but we gotta wait for the... Hello, hello, hello. Uh, how's everyone? If you don't know me, for whatever reason, my name is Kit. I'm non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. We are playing Spiritfarer at the moment. Uh, Spiritfarer is going very good. It's so cozy. It's so great. It's just, it's nice. It's warm. Easy. <laughs> I don't have to worry about, like, anything. <laughs> Love saxophone. It's so good, right? It's so good. And it goes for a long time, but... It's worth it. <laughs> Unknown Error Films, welcome in. How are you? How was... What were you playing? It's weird that... I The shout-out doesn't tell me what you were playing, and that, that is a little bit of a letdown. What were you playing? God of War! Yes, of course! Of course I should have known that. I did know that, and then I forgot. <laughs> How was God of War? How was 
what was it? Ha of killing. <laughs> How is our little Atreyu doing? Fought a dragon today. Amazing. How'd it go? To be fair, you didn't say you won against the dragon. Fought another another dragon. Two dragons? You did win. Good. <laughs> I had faith in you. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> well, welcome in, everyone. I hope your day is going good. Um, Bob is not the father. Also cut a man's head off and now we're carrying it around on our belts. <laughs> is it alive? Oh, okay. I was like, you're <laughs> just a dead... No, a reanimated head. Okay, I love that. Love that for you. <laughs> um, yeah. So we are right now we are getting the hot goss from Olga, the giant turtle. Um <laughs> Bob is not the father of this person's baby. I don't know who we're talking about, but apparently it's very important. <laughs> love it, right? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. No! You're kidding me! Incredible! Mm -hmm. Oh well, she always knew how to lure them boys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who this is. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that. Mm -hmm. Gio. Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Where? When? <laughs> the sounds in this game are so good. Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you interested? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? No. No, I don't care what he does. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay, but no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Mm -hmm. Olga, dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like an elephant. But of course, and on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. <laughs> me when I'm old. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience and spinach puff, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them, and then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have come, become a tree or a mining rock. Ooh, isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries. <laughs> All right, hop in my back, little lady. <laughs> I love it. Wait, oh, let me get up there. Okay, what do we want to put in here? I, ooh, limestone, quartz. I feel like I always need quartz. Do copper ore or maple. Oh, I don't have oak. Um. Uh, let's do. I guess let's do a maple log. BRB. Oh, I was going to say, feel free. If you got to go take care of yourself, do not feel the need to, like, be here and active because you just came in from us streams. You know, don't be afraid to go do whatever you want to do. Take care of yourself. Um, I'll do a copper ore. Alright. Stella! Oh! Shit. Whoops. Just jumped in the water. That was fine. Let me up! Let me back on the boat! Are you done? Oh, look at Daffodil. Just playing on the shell. Yes, I am done. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Don't, do not worry. I'll reemerge as soon as what you planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and of your passengers, Stella. 
Bye now. See you soon. Daffodil. Daffodil, you're gonna want to get off of the shell. <laughs> Here she comes. Be a dear. Mm -hmm. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. All right, you're probably hungry. I mean, do you like veggies? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> the eating noises. That's how I sound. What a bust. She had a lot to say, didn't she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. I also don't know if you've noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. <laughs> Soothing and kind, for sure. But scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about that. But enough about her. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her money. Sorry, I read that weird. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her munchkin. It's really appreciated. There's always so much going on. I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about that Giovanni character. Mm -hmm. Well, hmm, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. New request, bars of old. Um... Talk to Astrid. She's about to be in bed, though. Go. Wait, Astrid. Astrid, wait. Before you go in there. Oh, she's not letting me. It's because it's sleepy time, of course. Oh, let's go sleep. What time is it? Okay, we got about like five more minutes before I'm gonna call it a day. I feel like we've progressed pretty well in our little boat. New request, humble abode. Astrid wants a house. I don't, where am I gonna put another house, Astrid? I don't know. A letter from Olga. Astrid, while the two of us, oh. I just opened Astrid's mail. <laughs> while the two of us got up on the latest gossip, I forgot to give you something. I found this while flipping the magazines and it made me think of you. It definitely fits your style and panache. Also, I heard a rumor your husband could be in I Iwashima countryside. It might be worth checking out. I'll keep asking around just in case your old friend Olga. Interesting. Should have just given that to Astrid. Mm -hmm. That's what I call a foundry. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell these fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. We are going to make some beautiful things in here. Let's go inside and I can explain how it works. Oh. Well, I can't give you anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess let's just do the foundry and then... Oh, we gotta wait for... Oh, it's lightning. Hold on. Let me tell him no. Alright, alright, alright. Are you gonna teach me how to do this? Oh, I don't know if I have any... Oh, I still have coal in there. That should be good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I have to... What is it, Munchkin? Mm -hmm. A letter, you say? From Olga? This is mm -hmm. so nice of her. Olga had news about Giovanni's whereabouts? Iwashima countryside, you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We should probably go take a look. 
And what? An inspiration for a house? For me? How thoughtful. Can't deny it, Olga knows me so well. Yes, indeed, I would be very happy to have such a nice den to live in. It's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean, you could have thought about this yourself, of course, but don't worry. <laughs> I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Being the spirit bearer and all. That's okay, I won't begrudge you. And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. You're so resourceful, after all. Thanks a lot, Stella. I can't wait. Brochure for an island in Furugawa. Alright. Okay, it is time, I think, to wrap things up. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. Now she's in there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We'll do this. Oh, my. Stella is the first class founder you've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. This is a complex machine, and you have to be careful around it. First, you have to load ore into the furnace. Then you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach working temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposited in the furnace will be smelted into ingots. The bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. You'll have to make sure the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, you don't want to see this happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I've told you all you need to know. Have at it. Okay, I've already done this like three times, but we'll do it one more time to finish the quest. Oh my god! Oh, she's standing right there! Okay, we're good. We're good. Great work! Oh, Stella, how I wished all the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. The bus stop! Oh, you look so small and weak, but if you danced around this smelter like a veteran forge master, I'm so proud of you. Hold on. A lot of stuff going is going on right now. Even indulge myself and use it from time to time. Okay. okay. <gasps> Finally! Who is this wonderful person? Oh my gosh. Wait, let me up. Let me up. There we go. A traveler. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexander. Black. <laughs> It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh, yes. I'm Alex, and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before, I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. And taking your places is my game. Taking you places is my game. Choo-choo. I love Alex with all of my heart. I think this may be the best character. No, wait. That's a train. This is a bus stop, and I'm your driver. Want to go somewhere? change the music you don't like my music really you really want me to stop my wonderful music no <laughs> you does that mean ah it was but a prank good one so you can okay so now we can travel to the bus stop that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome but i don't want to travel right now oh. i love alex Thank you, Alec. Okay, now I think it's time. Where? Wait. Okay, I can't. There's too many new things. It is time to save and quit. My ear is starting to hurt more. Um, and I am hungry. Um, we're gonna raid our chicken life. I hope you enjoy our chicken life. Why was I- I hope I was not muted for that too long. Um, but, yeah, um, we got YouTube. If you want to watch YouTube, we got Discord if you want to go join the Discord. Um, we're about to raid, so, um, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you over with the chickens. Okay, goodbye!